How do you feel about Chipotle Mexican Grill? Too spicy? Not spicy enough? Are you bullish? Are you bearish? Are you neutral? Hopefully you're neutral because we're going to be putting on today's cherry bomb trade, which is a neutral trade on Chipotle Mexican Grill. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. We're going to hop right into my platform and we're going to put this trade on. So hi theorists, welcome back to Option Theory. It's Neil here again. And we're gonna be doing our cherry bomb trade. If this is new to you, you wanna sign up to uh, be a cherry bomb squad member, it's free. You just have to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell so you'll be notified when my new videos come out. We look to do about five videos a week. Uh, four of those are trades. No, six videos a week would be where my sweet spot is. So if you're interested in, in practicing trading, learning how to paper trade, and eventually maybe, turning that into real trading, and this is the uh, channel you wanna to subscribe to. All right, so I plugged myself, let's move on to the trade. So we're looking at Chipotle Mexican Grill, and we can see here that it gapped up, it closed here, it gapped up today, but has been coming down. Now, this is always something you have to be conflicted with. Do you build the trade just the way uh, Tasty Trade says it should be, or do you maybe modify? For learning purposes, right, I'm just gonna stick with the trades that we are given in the Cherry Bomb email blast, which the link is in the description below. Feel free to click that. I don't get your email, Tasty Trade does. They'll send you these emails. And I just basically put them on along with my thoughts uh, daily. So let's go over to the Analyze tab here in Thinkorswim. Let's click on Add Simulated Trade. And I have the May 29th, 2020 weekly expirations pulled up. So, Chipotle Mexican Grill is, is a popular uh, stock with <laughs> Tasty Trade, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not sure why. If you ask me, uh, its bid ask spreads are pretty wide, not a very liquid uh, underlying. The bid ask is way too wide. Uh, particularly in the weeklies, it's going to be worse, right? And we can see the volume today here. Uh, these are probably all <laughs> cherry bomb traders that filled these 19s here, the 19 trades today. That's how many um, people have opened them up today, right? So you can kind of get an idea. We're going to be doing an iron condor, and we're going to be short of the 760 put and long the 750 put. So I'm going to right click on the bid for 760, choose analyze sell trade and go over to iron condor. It's gonna build the iron condor for us down here, but the strikes will be off. We wanna do a $10 wide uh, spread. So I'm gonna change the 755 to 750. The call side over here, we're gonna change this short one all the way up to a 10, 10, and then the long call will be $10 above that at 1020. <laughs> There it is. So we're looking at a $3.46 credit, right? With the five, $10 wide, right? So we're looking at a $654, thank you. $654 of maximum loss, right? So remember, you can only lose to one side on an iron condor, which is kind of nice, right? You can't lose on both sides. So, with that, of course, I want to take a look at the risk profile, and we'll see. Right now, I have my expiration. Make sure you check your date here, set to the, uh, May 29th for this one. That'll give you your one standard deviation in this gray area here, right? And then you click here and choose set slices to break even, and I choose at expiration. So we can see that we're looking at a 57% and 50, maybe round up, we'll round down, 57% is our chance of probability of at least breaking even, right? So if you've watched another video I've done recently on how to set these price slices to your chart, you'll know how you can set those and see them on your, your chart up here, which is nice to be able to see that, okay? And I have a video coming out on Saturday on how to set alerts too. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. I'll link above to the video on how to set these price slices to your chart so you can visualize the band, the range you want uh, Chipotle Mexican Grill to sit in. Now, 
and you can turn this off now if you want, but I'm going to route this trade and I want to talk a little bit about it here. So I'm going to hit confirm and send. Of course, we review our max profit and we review our max loss. I'm going to hit send. I do not expect this to fill. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about. You, you, talked, or you heard me talk about the fact that this is not a very liquid underlying. You see that there were only 19 contracts that were filled on that. Um, but if we go back and we look at the call side, and we saw 19 here, 19 here. Let's go look at the 10, 10 and 10, 20. Okay. So there we are. So it's a little more here. So there's other than cherry bomb traders, <laughs> right? There are a few other people that are playing at least on the call side. So with that said, I don't expect this to fill today. Uh, and I don't think that this is a trade that I would put on uh, on my own. I wouldn't have picked this trade. So I wonder, would you make this trade? Whether it's paper trade or in real money? Let me know in the comments below if this is something you would do. So thank you for joining us for this cherry bomb trade. I look forward to seeing you in another video.